Hi Sagittarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance vlog for March. I'm, the, I'm going to explain something in Dutch as well, so the, um, in, um, the in introduction is a little bit long because there's been some changes. So if you're new, welcome to this channel and please subscribe and hit that bell just below, below this video and below the video you also have a description box with all kinds of information. If you uh, go to this little white circle here, then uh, if you click on that, you will be um, put through to or brought through to the website charliesangeltarot.com. Uh, I'm, I'm getting really busy and I've decided to go live twice a week, that is on Monday and Friday for English speaking people and on Wednesday uh, for Dutch speaking people. Um, also we'll be, I'll be doing a series of vlogs, <coughs> weekly vlogs with a witch um, and we're discussing the uh, Witch's Oracle. You can see the review of the Witch's Oracle in the playlist or on the website. And um, uh, because of this deck, I got nosy and I wanted to know what a witch would think of this deck and what a witch, what is a witch? What is the difference between being a witch or a homeopathist or um, uh, aromatherapist? So that type of thing we are going to discuss. Also other kinds of things because uh, you can work with herbs and also this means um, uh, hand, uh, illnesses and handicaps. No, we're not doctors. Uh, it is like herbs can uh, calm you down by uh, jaw sticks, for example. Um, that can uh, give a beautiful scent in and around your home and bring you gentleness, calmness, meditation, incantation. What does incantation mean and what does it do and blah etc etc. An incantation for me is like meditation but we'll be discussing this um, with the witch on Wednesdays. There will be different subjects um, First we'll take a couple of cards and we'll discuss a couple of cards and the signs on the cards and what they mean to the witch because the witch also works with uh, instruments, the dagger, we've discussed the dagger this week and um, the ankh. <clears throat> Go and have a look. Um, I've had loads of positive um, reactions so that's why we're carrying on with this, the series. So, we're going to start the reading in a minute. I've got to explain this in Dutch as well. So, remember, if you would like to join us in the live, then Monday and Friday is English and Wednesday is Dutch. And there's a lots of new uh, things happening. So, have a look at the uh, video news and updates. Also have a look at the website because there are different readings on offer like there's one for general or romance if you have an extensive um, reading then there is an, also an option of getting an update after a couple of months whenever you wish but it's be before the end of the sixth month. So that is a, a nice extra when you've had an extra long reading see what the developments have been. I'll talk to you about that as well and we'll see what the cards uh, say. I'm using the Archangel Michael deck, the Angel Feather deck, the Romance Angel Oracle deck and the House of Shadows. That is a fairly new, that's my newest deck so if you would like to have a look at all the cards then I suggest have a look at the review on that deck. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the Dutch and or I'm going to go into the Dutch and explain this. So please subscribe and hit the bell. If you don't want to be notified, don't hit the bell. Um, and please give us the thumbs up and share the video with family and friends. Okie dokie, thank you very much. And 
here we go in Dutch. Hallo iedereen en welkom tot deze, dit kanaal. En ik ga jullie even wat dingen uitleggen. Ik ga live voor Nederlandse talig op woensdagavond. Uh, ik word heel erg, het wordt heel erg druk. De familie groeit uh, heel vlug en er zijn ook nieuwe dingen. We gaan ook elke woensdag is er ook een vlog. Uh, want ik werk samen met een Nederlandse heks en we gaan naar aanleiding van een dek, de heksen orakeldek, gaan we dit discussiëren en er komen ook dingen los en er gaan ook andere discussies naar aanleiding van het dek plaatsvinden. Ik heb heel veel reacties gehad en leuke reacties. Dankjewel. En... Zo volg de serie en heb je vragen, stuur je vraag dan in of naar Wendy of naar mij. Maar ik heb het adres van Wendy nog niet onder de video geplaatst, maar dat zal ik voortaan wel doen. Oké, okay, uh, dat zijn een van de nieuwe, paar nieuwe dingen. Uh, dus woensdagavond is Nederlands en uh, de vlog is, uh, wordt opgelood op woensdag. Wil je graag een, een echte lezing, één op één? Ik kan dat via video doen of in, via Skype of Messenger. Dan kan je dat even laten weten. Ga even naar de website charliesangeltaro.com en daar kan je zien wat voor lezingen uh, er aangeboden worden. Als je een gewone, normale, lange, echte lezing neemt, dan kan je ook nog een korte lezing krijgen binnen de zes maanden na die lezing en kijken een soort update. Wat de ontwikkelingen zijn en wat, of de energie veranderd is, etc. etc. Als je Engels kan, dan ben je altijd meer dan welkom om ook op maandag en vrijdag te komen, want dan ga ik live in Engels. Heb je een specifieke vraag en wil je of wil je. Uh, de rij springen, geef, doe dan een donatie. Dat noemen ze superchat of een supersticker. Klik op de dollar teken en volg de instructies. En dan zal ik je vraag beantwoorden met drie kaarten en een orakelkaart. Ik hoop dat je dit kanaal uh, gaat delen met vrienden en familie en geef even de duimpjes op. Dat wordt zeer geapprecieerd. Dank je wel. Um, ook de, heb je informatie onder deze video en, uh, om ook, uh, en ook de lidmaatschapknop en de bel. Zo, heb je nog vragen, dan kan je het ook op het witte knopje hier in de hoek dru uh, drukken. Dan word je naar de website genomen en dan kan je daar ook een, een, uh, een bericht achterlaten. Zo, dat was dat. En zo heb je nog vragen. Dan hoor ik het graag. We gaan, uh, jullie kunnen de ondertiteling aanzetten als je het Engels niet begrijpt. Engels is een internationale taal en daarom doe ik het ook in Engels. Zodat andere landen, andere kijkers uh, in andere landen die Engelstalig zijn, het om kunnen zetten in hun eigen taal. Dat is natuurlijk veel makkelijker. Oké. Okay. Zo, hier gaan we beginnen. En ik hoop dat je te zien in de live sessie en anders in de volgende video. En geniet van deze lezing. Oké, okay, I'm back and here you go. Um, the first card that you have is release your ex. Um, the time has come to clear your energy. So, you can't move on if you haven't released... Um, your ex even by thinking or giving him a thought every day is not releasing him you have to totally let go so that the door can open for somebody new to come in you have the moon so you're out of balance here you see the moon wearing a mask and this i love this card um because the moon has a big long nose and it reminds me of Pinocchio. 
and somebody is dangling on his nose so somebody is walking on thin ice that is what I'm getting through this picture and the moon is uh, a spotlight so you are in the spotlight and something is being illuminated so somebody is walking on thin ice and they know but you don't know somebody might be telling you fibs or lies and you don't know that because the moon has got the dark side as well as the light side the dark side means that you don't know things and people are just somebody is telling you lies you need to do more research with regard to the situation that is illuminated or the question you might even be meeting um, your ex might be uh, a Pisces uh, because the moon represents Pisces listen to your intuition Sagittarius you might be very sensitive at the moment and intuitive also perhaps psychic you might get ideas boom coming out of your in your head and um, take note of those new ideas and listen to your gut feeling you've got 32 there so you're not in balance so try to get back in balance my darling let your ex go it might be your ex that is lying so just let it go lies are no good the second week that is this week it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all it is a beautiful energy so open yourself up open your heart and your solar plex and let love and laughter come back into your life you've got the tree and the tree means health that's the basic meaning but to me the tree also means money um, family money health space you need your space if you've been dangling because we've got somebody dangling here and I've, we've got a spider dangling in the tree I don't know if you can see it just uh, just there there is a spider dangling and somebody's also sitting on a swing okay and we've got all kinds of things hanging from the tree we've got a bat we've got money we've got a clock this this is a clock this is a, a house this is ancestors the skull ancestors family and a key so you hold the key to information perhaps you hold the key to keep your health in check perhaps it is time to have a health check and perhaps you are being stressed out and you don't dare to open up to love or laughter but it is time it is time to check check that's what I'm hearing check check yourself are you happy are you hiding in a house that is not good for your health I know the house means protection and safety but get out of your comfort zone go outside mingle with people spread your wings don't hang in the tree like the bat fly go for it have adventure go and blow away the cobwebs and um, enjoy nature it's good that you take time out to meditate or contemplate and evaluate but you must also go out and mingle and enjoy life love yourself first Sagittarius that was that is what my mother used to say love yourself and take care of yourself before you can take care of others and love somebody else your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive if you nurture yourself and you take care of yourself and you enjoy life then you are free you've got more space if you take charge of your life and your health you'll be fine okay and you'll be a beacon you'll be a magnet for new friends and new uh, partners or new love if that is what you wish if you are 
partnered up and you take care of yourself, you will also be romantically attractive to your partner, even if you've been together for yonks or years. Ooh, you've got the stalk. They might be moving of a home. You might hear of a birth or finding out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. We've got a man dangling, and that could be the doctor with its ca with his little attaché case, or that could be you or an advisor, like a bookkeeper or a lawyer. Anybody with that look is dressed up in a suit. Again, somebody dangling. So. Something is den dangling, something is in the air, something is illuminated. So be aware, okay? Um, perhaps this could be an estate agent that uh, you are going to buy a house and you're moving home. And it might be um, you thought you might not get the mortgage because the stalk also means 360 degrees turnaround in a situation. You might, like I said, there might be a birth. This could be of a child or this could be of a project. This is a romance reading, so I think um, it might be that things are turning around for the better, that you've got a new job and that now you've been in the job a while uh, or you might have had a promotion. Um, there could be a, a new job and so you can start making plans for a new home so that you can move forward because this is number 17 and number 8 is the house of power and money power means standing in your power strength okay so that is in the third week perhaps um, um, I'm seeing a house, so yeah, I'm thinking of somebody as well. So I think there will be a house, and I think it will be happen sooner than later. Okay, so if you're watching, then that is your message. It might be more person than one that it will resonate to. If it doesn't resonate this reading, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Um, let your inner child come out. Ooh, like I said, let be happy. Open that solar plex. Open. Uh, it is safe for you to love. And you've got the house. Where's the house? Uh, no, you didn't have the house. Sorry. Uh, your health. Yes, you've got the house here. So come out of your health, house and go outside. It does you good. Okay, come out of your comfort zone. Spread your wings. That's what I said. Right, it's time. Okay, let your inner, inner child come out, playfulness, okay, so that is also a confirmation of what I said, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, be the beacon, take care of yourself, ooh, nice, love yourself, nurture yourself, nice, 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 and you've got the ring, number 25, which is a 7, good luck. You might be forming new partnerships. This could be in love um, and this could also be in business. Like I said, a new job is imminent so that you can make future plans to get married or to get a house. Again, you've got 31 here that comes becomes a 4, so that's stability. Like um, this card also means celebrations, moving home. Again, moving home, going on holiday, you're in the spotlight, big time, moon and sun, you're being noticed, because I think you've listened, you're taking care of yourself, you're learning to love yourself, and to be happy with who you are and what you are becoming, because you got out of your comfort zone and your health is improving. Or you're taking care of your health. You're take, making a life for yourself outside a relationship, which makes you more attractive. Ooh, it could even 
be a Leo or a fire sign because the Leo it represents the Sun or the Sun represents Leo but that is a fire sign so it could be an other fire sign as well stability and proper foundations is four again this card means you might be hearing of a birth an actual birth of a child or a job or a new project okay new beginnings if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions that's the overall energy in the whole month now we've got a beautiful card here keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations okay if you if your a usual expectation of your soulmate or um, uh, a partner is blonde hair and blue eyes he might have dark hair and green eyes or brown eyes it can be totally out of this world a miracle and something totally different okay so keep an open mind if you are going to open up this solar plex in your heart and uh, to open to receive fun and be more playful big things are going to happen you're in the limelight okay definitely Pisces Leo that is that is what are is represented here okay Sagittarius now we're going to Archangel Michael this sound balance rebalance and relax what did I say love yourself be playful your health card go outside into nature rebalance and relax Archangel Michael suggests using the healing powers of sound music for, for example to rebalance your chakras and energy fields and green is a healing card so go out into nature and green also and the tree also mean for me money money is coming towards you and things are being healed now for the archangel feather uh, no not the archangel the feather angel feather card you have fawn that's the color of caramel you can wear it you can eat caramel um, you can meditate on it difficulties resolved difficulties are resolved the angels are present to inform you that a particular difficult period in your life is coming to an end well that is what I've been telling you new beginning you're in the spotlight there might be new a new partnership number seven lucky number number four proper foundations and stability so heed the warnings be more playful love yourself know how to balance um, yourself and your chakras and your your work and your home life and love yourself enjoy release the X okay Sagittarius I love you all I hope you've enjoyed this reading and give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends and if I don't see you in the life I'll see you in the next video Take care and be blessed.